Hey guys, remember the Google Vision API demo that I had a few days back? I was using our programming language to do it. Something unexpected happened. Yesterday, my hard drive crashed, so I had to reinstall so many things. And in the process, I realized that I was running a older version of R and R Studio. Surprisingly, the latest version of R and R Studio makes it far easier to access Google APIs. And the Google Vision APIs themselves can be accessed with just four or five lines of code. So that's what I'm going to show you now. Earlier, I was using different packages. Now I could use uh, easier packages. So I'm going to share my screen and demonstrate to you how this is going to work. All it takes is four or five lines of code. This is so easy, even I can do it, OK? OK, let me share screen with you here. Hold on a second. Uh, here it is. This is the screen I'm going to share with you. Okay, here it is. My uh, R environment, as you could see here, I'm running R 4.1, that's the version. And if you looked at my previous code, you may realize that I was using Google Vision, the package called Google Vision and JSON Lite. I'm not using those packages. I don't need Google Vision at all. And all I need is uh, a JSON package to read the JSON file that I have in my C drive that has got the credentials for Google. So that's what I'm going to use instead of Google JSON Lite, I'm going to use JSON. As you could see here, this is the package I'm going to use. Everything else is the same. This is the credentials stored in the JSON file. It is stored here in this file called jcredentials.json. So it's pretty straightforward. Nothing here is complex. Um, remember, we looked at this figure or this image. This is the image we processed last time. I'm going to process the same image. And for whatever reason, you guys seem to like this guy. I, so I will continue to use this image. He is the what, Prime Minister of Canada with his family when he was visiting India. So I will try to use the same image and process and see what I get out of it. So this is where I say I, it is in my local drive. I'm saying the image path is here. See, download, start.jpg. All I have to do is this. Look at this one instruction. I use this image annotation request and say where the image path is and what feature I want. I want the face detection. The maximum result is seven. That means don't go more than seven steps to tell me what is in this and so on. Okay, so let me run this and show it to you. This is going to explain to you in a jiffy. Okay, here it is. I run it. Okay, now the it says very clearly, okay. It's looking at all these faces as it was in the previous program. It tells you who's happy and who's not happy. Obviously, uh, there is some person who's not uh, very happy here in the remember the last time. Very unlikely, very likely. Okay, joy likelihood is for one person is very unlikely. And let's see who that person is not very happy. As you could see, everybody is smiling. This person is not smiling. So that's why it says this person is not happy. Joy likelihood is very unlikely that is what it says okay now let's see whether it can detect the landmark in this image so let me comment uh, this line of code instead of labels or face detection i'm going to do landmark detection let's do this let me run li this lines of code let's see what happens here okay there it is it is able to identify this image as taj mahal okay so that works perfectly like a champ. I mean, as you could see, this is the only lines of code. These are the only lines of code one require to call the Google API. Um, unbelievable. Okay. Remember, we also used another image to process. That was this image. You know, there's a dog, there's a bike and car, automobile and so on. Let's see if we process this image through Google Vision, what we get out of it. Okay, uh, let me get it up this part of the code. You don't need this. Okay. Uh, okay, here it is the car and dog image. That's what I'm going to do. And I am going to do what is known as label detection. It is going to identify what are the objects in this image. So let me run this. Okay, remember it says, wow, remember, I, I said uh, maximum is 10. Now, so it is going to identify 10 objects here. It is identifying a dog, obviously, in the image. 
it is identifying a wheel tire bicycle vehicle carnivore bicycle equip okay bicycle handlebar okay fantastic so if you look at the image these are the things it is identifying it's identified the dog it identified the handlebar it identified the um, uh, you know other attachments and so on it identified the car so as you could see by just writing one line of code i am able to access the google vision apis and it's able to tell me a lot of information now those of you who plan to use this google vision apis for your projects you can simply use this code i will put it in the classroom everybody can use it but importantly please install the latest version of r and r studio and remember unless you have the credentials from google you won't be able to do it the first i guess thousand calls are free or something like that so even after that it is not very expensive and if you require my credentials let me know okay thank you guys i will make this code available in the class also okay yep i will talk to you later bye